today is not my best game. Although I started out strong, as in I win the piece uh, from black, I keep missing mating chances. So today I have three passes for you and I'm going to see whether or not you can do better than me and actually find good way to mate with black. With that in mind, let's begin. The opening here is really non-standard. It's called Sukertot Opening Queen's Gambit Invitation. And this is very unique. Uh, really, I could have just taken this thing with a knight because the rook here is not going to retake the knight. And it's basically asking black to attack me. That's really very interesting opening. Something you may want to check uh, for, uh, you know, uh, investigation, see what kind of uh, possibilities over there. So you can do that over here. Uh, rather aggressive and tactically speaking. So that's a conservative here. Yeah, that's inconsistent with the opening principles. You want as black as you want to be as aggressive as possible just pile up your pieces into white skin so and this is basically just set up everything over here and of course uh, as white I want to basically shut off any counter attack red pieces as much as possible try to gain initiative over here so that's an initiative over there Anyway, uh, this is puzzle number one. Black has just moved the pawn to f6. What should I do? Fork the queen and rook. Easy enough to do. Close up over here, threatening both the queen and the rook. Next move. So I, I can uh, the rook for free so far. Normally the knight get exchanged, but there's no exchange here. I'm threatening to get a free knight over here. And the uh, pawn is pinned over here, so I cannot take out that knight over there. That's inaccuracy, really. Make sure that the queen is moved to the protected square, because otherwise the check here will be devastating. And that's very natural. Suddenly I'm threatening the knight again. And I'm trading, so I have good evaluation over here. Check. Uh, in this case, I'm trying to cause black to default from castling. So there's no way if uh, there's no way to that really if not goes here check there if if one goes here just take that and that uh, or, or this one right here naturally uh -huh. I don't know why I did that by the way <laughs> normally it's you know to remove uh, to put up a space or something but but the king over there takes care of that square over there quite nicely and that's and I suppose doing it over there trying to get away from there but there's really no reason to, there's no, no reason to do that so 
So that's a possibility to treat because the net is hanging over there. I should have just uh, taken up the net directly there, so that's a mistake. And see the king goes back there, <laughs> goes back there. That's a good multi-purpose move over there, very strong pawn structure. Of course, there's a hole over there that uh, white can use, but I'm stronger that way, so next move. Here's uh, an interesting one. I could have just moved the bishop over here, taking care of that. Now the knight cannot do anything unless you know you want to get captured over there. So I can. So. So. Bishop goes here. Bishop, rook goes there. Turn the knight over there. Knight goes somewhere, maybe here, and then just capture, capture. And, you know, I, I would be better off because then I can just go there. Uh, so that's very strong, uh, very strong position for white. Anyway, next move. So put the rook over there. And now I do it, which is... Not as strong, not as strong. You can tell that's not as strong. So that's really a wasted move, but I mean, it's not hurting or anything like that. But it's basically trying to get away from the light square over here. So everything, you can see everything is on the dark square. Pretty standard strategy dealing with large square bishop. Gets it really interesting. Check over there. Mm, another check. And that's a mistake right there. You can tell that's made in five. So this is puzzle number two over there. Uh, I have a meeting combo combination over here. What should I do? All right. So this is typical of a king in the back rank mate, except it's not on the back rank, it's on the side over there. So what I should have done, Yes, I should have uh, moved it over here. So the idea is king move there and mate. So so black has to cut this square over there. So good over here. Check that. Block that. And take that. Stack that. And pretty much stuck over there. Uh, but the only thing that. That square is no longer guarded. The king cannot go there fast enough. But the only thing uh, black can do is to delay over here. So uh, st stop that and mid. So that's the answer to the puzzle over there. Anyway, I did not do that. I just took the pawn up over there, threatening over there. Rook, okay, trading rook, and then capture the pawn. Now in this case, at this point, I don't want to move the rook from this rank over here. So as soon as I move it to the dark squares over here, I should be fine. Next move. Now right now, over here the rook 
is in a strong position because uh, bishop cannot take that because there's pawn in the way and the pawn cannot move because there's knight in the way so this is a good position to be why i did that i have no idea <laughs> I really should have just pushed the pawn over here. This is like made in three over here. So I should have just uh, pushed the pawn over here. And you cannot do that, right? You cannot do that. You cannot prevent the pawn from promotion. <laughs> so, really, uh, I don't know why I didn't just push the pawn over there. Anyway, next move there, next back there, now, uh, normally the king would move over there, so a position over there, if if black does nothing, uh, you know, you can just check over there, that's me, so that's the idea, but I really should push this one up over there. And I just push the pawn up over there. Kind of late over there. So this is the situation over here. This is made in five. Mm, for here. Uh, at this point in time, I know I'm winning. I just don't know how to do it. So uh, I think maybe I should just make a move over here. Over there. So just basically just put the pieces out over there and see what happens. And this one over here, and this is made in three. So now, this is puzzle number three. I have a made in three. What should I do? Obviously, this is uh, what happened is I need to secure all the squares over here yeah, so I can meet yeah, I can meet using this turn over here so if I do this like, what is stuck uh, I mean black is stuck there so cannot go anything if you do, do go there uh, yeah, that's about it so mid in three did not do that I move it to this square really should move this square right so 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 just one square off and because of that black has come to play right now I can do this over here and at this point in time black resign but <coughs> I really shouldn't have done that mm. now that now the possibility would be to uh, to move the net over there, so mm, that's the squares are guarded basically, and then move the pawn over there. So so that's not the possibility. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.